From breathtaking outdoor adventure to fascinating history, you can do it all here in Bedford, Virginia. But today, we're hitting the downtown to check out the thriving artistic community. And we're gonna hit the Artisan Trail where you can watch as beautiful, one-of-a-kind pieces of artwork come to life. Everywhere you turn here in Bedford, you'll find beautiful displays of creativity. Whether it's artwork from area school kids hanging on lampposts along Main Street, or works of art on display in local art studios, you'll discover something that inspires. I started my journey here at Goose Creek Studio, owned by Mitchell Bond. All right, Mitchell, we're standing inside your beautiful studio. It's called Goose Creek Studio. Tell me about it. So um, we bought a framing business from a couple that had had a framing in town for 30, 30 years. Um, we thought we were just going to be doing framing. Um, we invited local artists to come into our place and show work, and they came out of the woodwork. And now we have uh, almost three dozen local artists that we show here. We participate in Second Fridays in Bedford. So there are a number of folks, um, businesses downtown that are open late on the second Friday of every month. And we do a, an opening, art opening on the second Friday. Um, we show local folks work and try to get stuff that's new and interesting for people to see. And you'll definitely find something interesting. This studio is constantly changing and no two visits are alike. On my visit, not only did I find beautiful and original works of art, but also unique pieces of pottery, woodwork, and glass. On the second floor, there are four open artist studios to check out, each artist with unique perspectives that tell a different story. If you time your visit right, you can meet the artists and watch as their creative process unfolds. While the artists weren't working during our visit, we did find them here inside the Bauer Center for the Arts. Suzanne Paddock is an oil painter and was working on an animal portrait when we spoke to her about working in this public space. The main reason um, I have a studio here with Perry um, is to be able to meet people, um, share the work, talk to people. That's really um, the business side, that's how I make sales, you know. But more than that, it's just a lot of fun to, to have people come visit and be interested and learn about art. I mean. I mean, yes, my art, but the whole reason for the Art Center, just to be excited about art or to not have any idea, but they come in, they talk to us, and then they, they get curious. Perry Mason, who shares this creative space with Suzanne, also prefers this public setting, an opportunity, she says, to share a unique view of her world. I think everyone is creative. A lot of people say, I can't draw, I can't draw a stick. Well, that's just because they've never, you know, never been taught to how, how to see. Um, and these days, that everyone's looking at their phone, and they're not looking at their world as, as, as it is. Um, I just feel like it's, it's very important. It's a different way to see things. It's, it's, you know, a different way to think. The Bauer Center for the Arts not only allows visitors this rare glimpse into the art scene, but also serves as a huge economic driver for the community. We had over a thousand visitors last month. So these thousand visitors don't just come and engage here, perhaps for a concert or to see artists at work or uh, view an exhibit, but these, uh, these visitors also go to a restaurant or uh, may shop on Main Street. So we attract visitors for entire downtown. No one knows that better than Melanie. It was the main reason why she opened her deli, Town Kitchen and Provisions, right next door. We're a small community, and I think we like to stay that way, but it also, you can spend the day here, you know, and you can hop around right, in Goose Creek and Bower Center and come see us and all the other little vignettes around town. Bedford's such a beautiful small town. Um, I raised my family here, and it's important to me to kind of raise my children in an environment where there was a lot of community. So, and I think the Artisan Trail brings people to our small community um, instead of a bigger city. And discovering the passion and creativity of these skilled artists here in this tight-knit community offers a unique perspective only an artisan trail can provide. One is that it promotes tourism, so it brings folks here, gives them a great experience of what Bedford has to offer. It also offers economic development. And then finally, I think it gives folks a sense of community pride because we really have something great here. We want to be able to show it off. It's part of what makes us human. It's part of what connects us. Um, 
you know, we could speak different languages, but we can both look at the same picture. For humanity, it's, it's our soul. I mean, we need it. New discoveries and a new appreciation for a creative spirit that can be found here along the Bedford Artisan Trail. And this Friday is the second Friday of the Open Door Tour weekend on the Artisan Trail. Enjoy art openings, fine dining, specialty shops, and live music throughout the historic town of Bedford from 5 to 8 p.m. For more, log on to visitbedford.com. And for more on this and other great In-A-Day's Drive ideas, visit our website at inadaysdrive.com.